Alright. Shit works. Great. <clears throat> Hello and welcome, guys. It's been a while. I know, I know. Uh, I've been a bit horrible. I've been in places, different kind of places. But I am just want to catch up a bit and do a bit, uh, a lot of videos right now. The first one is my, actually, my PBL week 7. The funny story about this is I don't have, I didn't, I haven't done my PBL week 8 or 9, which means uh, I got 4 first, 2 of those. I still wanted to show this battle, but the funny part is, um, yeah, I'll, I'll show it in the end, I'll show it in the end. Uh, we're just gonna play out the battle. So normally I was gonna play Daddy Invit, but Invit uh, had some issues going places, and so for reasons... He had to drop out, so I asked my friend Brankus if he could replace Invit and play his matches. And unfortunately, I forgot that uh, <laughs> Brankus is a good player, and that I had to play Invit still. So yeah, <laughs> forgot that. But yeah, I'll lead up with my Diggersby uh, because it's a Scarf Diggersby. Go for a solid U-turn, expecting him to switch out and go into my uh, Dragon just to get out my rocks and to glare uh, the Crobat as well. Because this Crobat might be an issue if it has an HP steal for my Diancy, which uh, I'm trying to sweep with. Because Diancy is my best play, my best bet for this. I just go for Stealth Rock C, Stealth Rock, so I just want my rocks up because he's got two flying types and I just want the Sash uh, in case the Shopkeeper has a Sash. I want it to get rid of it. it. Oh no, wait, it's a Mega, right? My bad. Uh, yeah, the Crobat goes for Anslash, so we know that it's a special variant. I just go. Prince is actually a perfect switch in for this because he. It's quite special defensive, bulky. Uh, my Lotic is just that kind of Pokemon that it's just very good at that. Uh, I'm gonna switch out, expecting him to switch out. I expe actually expected him to switch out to his Ferrothorn, but he switches out into his Sharpedo, which I don't want to take any risk with. So I'm gonna switch back out, and we see that he's also switching out to his Heatran. So he probably knows that I'm Scarf, he doesn't want to risk it because he has to first turn Mega. I just go for Sea Scald here, and I immediately get the burn on the Ferrothorn. Which is always nice to have, certainly if it has leftovers, because uh, it takes a bit of chip damage as well, and it won't heal unless it goes for Leech Seed. So that's what he does. He goes for Leech Seed. I have my Iron Maiden, my Celestia Lion. Celestia Lion is very nice, uh, actually, here, because uh, Flame Thrower just demolishes Ferrothor, so I know he's probably gonna switch to All Protect. But he didn't switch, and <sighs> my Ram Giant got his Choice Scarf knocked off, which is very bad for me. Because my Diggsby, well, Choice Scarf Diggsby is just really nice to have. But yeah, I can switch moves now. I uh, just go for, say, Fire Punch and kill off the Ferrothorn. He switches in Togetic, and I'm just wondering, alright, um, I'm just gonna Ice Punch this. Doesn't kill it. He goes for Defog. And yeah. So he doesn't, uh, I don't have Rocks anymore, and my only Rock Setter is the Dirty Gun. So I really want those Rocks, though. Uh, and then we see a Choice Scarf Heatran coming out, which is amazing, with Hyper Beam. <laughs> which in fact is just, just crazy man, it's just, no, <laughs> I can't help it, it's just crazy. Well he has to recharge, I'm going for Diamond Storm to get a defense race, I don't get it, but it's fine. I can still go for it, try to kill all the total thing. But uh, instead, I'm gonna switch out to Kiss to let that die off into the Hyper Beam, expecting him to stay in. But he didn't, which is also fine. I just I just wanted a defense race, man. But yeah, I go for Rocks again. He can go for Roost. And yeah, this one is gonna take a while. Because like, I can't kill the total thing with Kiss. Kiss is very useless in that matter. He goes for the heal bell, <laughs> uh, right as I glared him, so he doesn't have par paralysis and the Probat doesn't have any paralysis. I go for a glare again, just hoping to get a para. He goes for the defog, because um, I'm on a timer and I really need those rocks up. I really want those rocks up. Uh, rocks really help me and I need those. So he goes for a heal bell again. Uh, I'm almost dead, like next turn I'm dead, <laughs> sadly with my kiss. but. I'm good for Glare, hoping for get to get a para, but I don't get it. So Kiss goes down, Tokotek still lives, but it's fine. I still got my Diancy, which is my main form. Oh wait, I'm still living. No, yeah. 
So he's just going for defog immediately, expecting me to go for stealth rock. So yeah, it was his best play. Anyway, I knew that I wasn't gonna keep my rocks. But yeah, so I can switch now to my DNC and go for Diamond Storm. Uh, trying again for that defense boost, which really helps me. And I do get it this time. Um, Branka said, oh, watch this. Uh, because <coughs> he was expected to live a power gem, which he would, but like... But yeah, he's Scarf Heatra and we know this, so Prince is actually a really good switch in for this. Uh, we can go, just go for a Skull again, uh, say Skull, hoping for a burn if he switches in the Sharpedo. And we do manage to get that burn. So I've been very lucky with my burns as well, which is very good for me. Uh, he goes, of course, for uh, Mega. Goes for the Crunch, doesn't do a lot, as you see. So it does 24, which is actually quite a lot, uh, even with a burn. But like, yeah, Sharpedo is quite scary with... Uh, crunch so and he gets defense drop here which is fine I can just go for the recover defense drops is gonna make it so that his next crunch will do more but I can switch into my Primarina because I don't really need the Primarina Primarina is more like an overall tool because it has uh, it has HP fire has Moonblast to do it the um, Zygarde Ice Beam for the Crobat and well, Hydro Pump for the Heatran so it has just tools for it so it's not that important my melodic is the main wall with recover which is very much more important he goes for the Z uh, flying him I decided to switch into my prince because he's more special defensive and as you see the supersonic sky track doesn't do that much which is great for me it goes for the giga drain that's quite a bit but it's fine I can always still recover that's why prince my melodic is one of the best Pokemon on my team it goes for the Giga Drain again, just trying to get some chip. Uh, my Lotic is actually capable of just dealing with this entire team now. Because uh, we know that uh, he trying to Choice Scarf and Hyper Beam will do a lot, but uh, like he will put himself in momentum, well, in a stiff momentum because he's going to be stuck in Hyper Beam. Now. There comes as I got. I still have Ice Beam. We won't notice. I don't want to risk any uh, any weakness policy. So I'm going for the Skull. Just trying to get a burn. Because I know I can live uh, plus 1,000 arrows. He goes for the Substitute, which is fine. Which is fine by me. I just go for the Haze. Because I'm Haze as well. Because I really didn't want to risk the... Um, what's it called? Yeah, the weakness policy. Which is just very scary to have. But as we see, as we have seen, he is a leftover, so I was very happy with that. And I'm being able to do haste through substitute is also great. Uh, so he is forced to attack me. And as we see, it doesn't do that much. I can go for the haste again. He he can go for the substitute all he wants to. But in this one we want, I should win unless he crits. He goes for Dragon Ass again. I can go for an Ice Beam, I can go for a recover. It's all fine. As you see, Ice Beam does 55, so he's quite bulky, the Zyga. Uh, we know that the thousand arrows will do thir about 35 34 and we see i can just re uh, recover this off but i choose not to just to deal with the zygarde just to not let it set up to plus two so he only has his trust scarf heatran and heatran ha doesn't have one move that deals with all of my pokemon he goes for a hyper beam and as we see he chose scarf into hyper beam so i can slowly kill him off with my celestial if i want to uh, which is very nice to well it's nice but yeah, I've brought Earthquake just for the Heatran. I was prepared for it. So yeah, that's the battle. That's our week 8. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, please leave a like. And I'll show you and I'll tell you guys. So I made Top Cut. I did. Surprisingly, I did. Uh, I made Top Cut and those replays will be shown as well. And I hope you guys will watch them. I really appreciate it if you do. Uh, and that's it. Alright, see you guys later. Bye.